to be a part of this project. They're sending 30 kids um, to this new planet that they plan to colonize and it's gonna take over 150 years, which would approximately be three generations to get there. And Teo is part of the first 30 that will kind of set them up for hopefully success. Um, he's part of the, the crew and he kind of functions all over the place. I think mainly he works with Data along with Edward. Teo is very calculative and was always pretty reserved. And so having him change throughout the course of the movie and having Teo exposed to these kind of different things like everyone else is, is fascinating and, and you know, him in a particular setting and his given behavior um, in that kind of scenario and how that changes with these, um, with the blue is incredible because there is this desire for power all of a sudden and, and um, raw expression comes out and it's definitely fun to, fun to kind of dive into that. Richard is the leader and he also kind of plays a father figure because he's always been the parental figure that they've always grown up with. Um, I don't think they've grown up with that much affection, but I think if they've had any, it's come from Richard. So Richard is a pretty important part to them as people and also to them in, in their mission. From the scenes I have had with Colin, they have been exciting and also such an experience to watch someone who's been through it for years, countless years, and uh, he's such a delightful person to talk to. He's very friendly and uh, yeah, always down for a laugh. Neil has a very unique directing style. He likes to take things into his own hands and he likes to kind of shake things up the day of. Um, he likes um, the, the raw aspect of, of people. Um, when it comes to planning, he likes to leave it kind of just as it is. We're gonna, ha we're gonna make it happen now. And, you know, as, as actors, it's, it's also very exciting because, you know, uh, apart from rehearsing, changing things on the fly, um, really puts you in in the setting, you're, you're really being, because you're there, you're not, you're not being trained like a dance, it's, it's raw, it's very, very real to be there. So yeah, I, 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 it, it is very interesting working with Neil and, and has been a pleasure. The set is, de is beautiful. I mean, the, the white and, you know, down to the last bolt is very immersive, definitely to, to get into character and, and to think about being in space is it, it, it's and and the narrow corridors really make you think about this claustrophobic spaceship that you've been cooped up and all of a sudden you know the, the release of, of energy and this animalistic sensation it, it definitely does help being here and, and really being in that zone and the costumes too uh, they're first of all very comfortable <laughs> thankfully and you may, it makes us think about being here as cellmates almost because we're we've, we've been here for such a long time and and you know we're all wearing the same thing we're going to the cafeteria and we've been emotionally stunted and told to do your job keep keep your head low and do whatever and really thinking about it as as being um, detained almost and, and and definitely the white and the the close corridors definitely really help with that. It's a very exciting um, ensemble cast that we have set up here. You know, very talented people and very talented people who have worked on this project. Um, and you know, space is always very exciting because it's uh, it's the final frontier, as we always call it. And um, putting kids in space without any parental guidance, any rules, I think it's it's just ready for. Havoc, and, and I think everyone's kind of excited to, or would be excited to think about, um, it's almost like a lab rat experiment, putting, what, what if we put kids, 30 kids in, in a spaceship, and then their only parent dies, 
and then they all, all of a sudden get given, you know, five cans of Coca-Cola and what happens? Let them run awry. And I, I, I think it's, everyone's kind of like, you know, a tad curious to see what happens in that scenario. So yeah, I think everyone would kind of be interested to watch that.